Hey, what's up, guys? This podcast is brought to you by Ismail and Rujdi, better known as Team Isdi. And if you want to find out more, you can do so on their socials at Team Isdi on TikTok and Instagram. And if you guys want to contact them, you guys can contact them at 8202-2855. 8202-2855. Let's get it on. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the one and only Wello Show. Yeah, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Wello, and also follow us on Spotify. And if you want to check out more episodes, you can do so on Spotify. Let's get it on. Let's go. Ooh. All right, guys. Today <laughs> we have a very special guest. We have Kevin, as yeah, known man. as Radical Kindness. Yeah, Ooh. let's get it. Ooh. Wait, Thanks. first question: Thanks Are you a kind me. person? Thanks for having me on short notice. First, <laughs> hey, appreciate no problem, it, bro. No problem. Uh, no problem. It means a lot. Am I a kind person? No, sometimes I'm unkind. It's just a mask that I put on. Mm. Oh, it's a ma- oh, so you're not kind. <laughs> <laughs> it don't <have> problems, yeah. <laughs> That's why. You know what you say? You're radical kindness. I think some people, I mean, we have a certain prescription of what kindness looks like. Mm. I think. So, yeah, I think I just try and do things towards my definition. Okay. Yeah, or yeah. well, then I try and yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. In case uh, some of you guys don't know, right? He makes. Uh, very wholesome content on TikTok, on Instagram, and everything. And I find it very wholesome, lah. You know, Appreciate you help it. people. <laughs> yeah, what you love? Mm. Correct, what? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, find it, I find it very wholesome, lah. When you about being kind. People. About being kind, you know, you help people and everything. Yeah. So that's why when I watch your videos and everything, I also was thinking like, what makes you want to do this kind of content? Because I, when I watch a video, I can relate to like Mr. Beast also. Yeah. Because in Singapore, there's not a lot of people do this kind of content also, right, Islam? Correct. Yeah. Absolutely. So, yeah. So <laughs> is it inspired by like? Mr. Beast or anything? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Beast is one of my top five inspirations. Uh. The oh fourth okay. one, I would say. Okay. Who's the first? First, my parents. Uh, Parents first. Uh. Okay. Yeah, first is parents. Yeah. Second? Second is Christianity. Jesus. Third? Third Jesus. is my mentors. Mm. Fourth is Mr. Beast. And the last one is Andrew Tate. Yeah, mm. let's go. Oh, damn, son. Let's go. Like. Andrew Tate got a slot in. in <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah just in case. Like, I just got cancelled. Like. Slot him at number five. He's, like, he's Mr. Beast, a spot. Like. Wait, wait, Andrew Tate is what? Fifth or fourth? Fifth. Fever. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. but if I were you, I would slot in six. Myron. Myron <laughs> gain. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> we can debate on that. Myron is just a less classy version of it. That's why. Okay, <laughs> so Wrong yeah. Opinion. What makes you want to like start doing this kind of content? Okay, the, I think the, the short answer is pain. Uh. Pain? Oh, yeah. Dear, I think at 18, I had depression. I almost got hospitalized mm-hmm. for death thoughts. Uh, imagine myself being hanged, being chopped up. There's blood. Mm-hmm. My funeral, I imagine everything. Just after my A-levels. Okay. Yeah, because I messed up my A's, I handed up blank papers for my math A levels. Paper one and paper two, I handed up blank papers. Yeah. Blank papers means you never. Yeah. I just copied down the questions. I handed it up. Sorry, what? I copied down the questions mm. and okay. I handed up blank papers because oh, I had a sense. mental block. Yeah, I don't get it actually. What was it? Oh, it just he submit the papers without answers lah, basically. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So that's <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that slow, Hegel? <laughs> yeah, a bit slow. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, so, so at that point, grades was everything, right? You're conditioned mm. to believe no grades, no future. So A-levels was like a big thing. Mm. So I went into a depression and mania. Uh, was a state of extreme high. La. Yeah, so I came out of that. Then during mania, I was watching YouTube videos. At the time, Tianhao was under 100k subs. Mm. And the R boys to men, boys were like, you know, just coming out. Uh-huh. YouTube was just coming out. No TikTok, nothing. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So I looked at a YouTube video. I, I remember thinking to myself at that point of time, I had mania. So I, I was emboldened by this energy in me that I'm going to be a savior of Singapore. Okay. Cause yeah, I'm going to like change Singapore society to be kinder, more gracious, more uh-uh. inclusive. Okay. It was just resentment turned outwards. Uh. I, was just, I was just angry at the system. But ultimately, I was just angry at myself uh, for failing. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's a good analyzation because <laughs> when you like hate the ultra spec, to be honest, it's like inside. It's just a projection. Yeah, yeah. everything is inside. But what, what, what makes you have that perspective of like the the one like you said just now because of like the grades and everything what yeah. makes you have that kind of thought is that it because of the society or whatever yeah I think we, we grew up you grew up in Singapore yeah and you're yeah. schooling school here right Mm-mm. we are pit against each other from young right? we are stratified from young we are thought for someone to win someone has to lose we have uh-huh. bell curve all the time when I was at my age I don't know if you are age but <laughs> um, okay. I'm not sure whether our teachers I'm, so call out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure whether our teachers used to give up exam papers from okay. the lowest to highest marks. 
Um, was it like that in your oh school? yes, maybe, yes. but I even in my generation, yeah. No, worry. now I think they stopped. Right? Now they stopped. Right? Last time was like that. So you imagine mm-hmm. the effect it has on us. Yes, yes. Hey, like when you think, when you talk, when you say this, right, I, I like immediately like yes, yeah, actually true, yeah. Right. Imagine yeah, the yeah, effect yeah. it has on us, uh-huh. and then like obviously you think that people who are more worthy are people who like get better grades, uh. Yeah, yeah, true. So your yeah. entire esteem becomes built around all these externals, grades, achievements, other people's opinions. Mm-hmm. So when that crash during A levels, my entire esteem crumbled, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. You know, Aslam got four, five out of hundred for his maths. For which one? For which one? For uh, which one? Yeah, he can't come. Um, prelims, uh, uh, prelims. That one was prelims like what? Yeah, primary school, yeah. Prelims, like, right? Uh, it was like how many years ago? Primary school, uh? yeah. yeah, yeah. Aslam got, Aslam got five. I got six. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One up me, yeah. Uh, one up me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, yeah. This is true story. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I really hit Stay. maths, uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true, true. But then, okay. Then when let's talk about a little bit about like, your depression. Yeah. Like when you are going through that. How do you like? How do you manage that thing? Okay. Uh, also, uh, can I know like at what age do you went through this? This yes, depression. This was eighteen years old. Eighteen years old. Yeah. He told you so just now. <laughs> Wait, hold on. After A levels. <laughs> yeah. So that means your secondary school days was all okay. It was fine. So yeah. it's because of the A levels thing. It was just the pressure. I think O levels I did say to to reference. Pressure of pressure of like performing competing. Performing, yeah. Because O levels I didn't have pressure because I did say to junior college. So mm-hmm. I was just oh, chill. Then, Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was very chill. I didn't really have to face the pressure of a major exam. So A levels was the first. Uh. I see. Then when you are going through all of that, like the depression thing, does any- anybody know about it? Oh, my parents knew. My only my parents. I think my JC friends all moved on. That's the scary thing. Not the scary thing. This is the harsh reality of life. People say you're not alone. That's nonsense, uh, To be honest, we always like to say that you're never alone. It's nice to hear, but the reality is that most of the time you are alone. People mm. have to move on in their lives. Mm-mm. Even the ones that are close to you can't be with you 24-7. Okay. Especially when yeah. you're a man. Yeah, especially so as well. Right? <laughs> a man and a woman. Uh. Nah. More, 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 so, more so when you're a guy. Like, because mm. I, I tend to... Why do you think that? I think it's just because of how gender expectations are set up. Really? The, the pursuit as well of a girl, especially if an attractive girl, puts online, like, okay, I just woke up and I'm sad. Goodness me. All the people hiding will start will come out all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. The DMs yeah. will all come in. But she can mm-hmm. be maybe attractive and not um shite to the whole world that she's going through like depression, right? Yeah. So some people might keep it more private and some might be more open about it. No, no, what Kevin is trying to say is both um will be f- No, she has uh, a good point. No, what I think what you're trying to say is like um both you said a good point, okay? Yeah, yeah, like, no, 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 <laughs> if, if you cannot I can come in. <laughs> no, what, yeah. Fuck, <laughs> hey, by the way, from just now I realized I want to talk always can I interrupt? <laughs> Fucks, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, <laughs> what I realize, eh, what I realize, really, yeah, <laughs> What I think Kevin is trying to say is both yes went through depression and all, and both also will feel lonely. But what he trying to say is the majority will be men who will be going through this thing alone. Majority. Right. And also, and also, when he said something like, if okay, like, let's, let's say right now, uh, you just imagine a uh, guy say say out, say out, say out loud, uh, say out, say out, say out loud okay, on okay. like social media. Like like what he said just now, oh I'm going through a breakup. Mm. Guy were to say that, right? Yeah. And if a girl were to say that. Oh people will show love more the to the girl than the guy. Yeah. The way people view you is very different. Mm. But to be fair, that's social media. You're no. not telling that's, your parents, your close friends, your like it's so different. Yeah, but, yeah, but, but I'm calling I'm okay. Chinese has a point, but I'm cor- I'm comparing apples to apples. Point. No, it's just an example in the I'm area. I'm comparing apples to apples now. Yeah, apple, yeah. But yeah. if apple let's say both of them ah. don't share, yeah. then both of them will be lonely. Mm. Yeah, I'm just saying mm. that. Like and okay, that's I put in one research. Huh? Yeah, I w- I w- also, there's also research that suggests that females have stronger social groups than guys. True. Just the nature of relationships. Really? Yes. yes. True. Guys do not have a strong But social I feel like bonds. guys are more bonded as groups. Yeah. Like they, they don't really, th- there's not much like toxicity going on, you know? Like when it comes to females, there's a lot yeah, of like politics, uh, drama. But with guys, it's more like, okay, like, maybe you punch him next day, you're like, hey bro, you know that kind of thing? Maybe, but I guess we don't talk about emotions as much. I don't know. Yes, true. Oh, that one I for sure, I agree. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah when, when especially when it comes to like social media also, if you were to s- see that if a girl were to show their emotion on social media, they will get more love. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. guy show love, eh, show emotion in the social media, right, yeah. people will start to say that, hey, this the guy is, yeah, is a seem, he's being gay or whatever, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes because I it's not, it's, it's like an ego thing. Like. It's not a manly thing. Sorry, I interrupt you again. What? No, what no, it's okay. You haven't finished. I interrupt you. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes I, ju- I just wish I'm Shanice. Yeah. Right. You wish you're yeah. Shanice? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes yeah. I wish I was you. Yeah. Why? So I can feel that, you know, that 
Low key, I wish I was you, yeah. We got short body, yeah. No, no. Short, let's go. Short for a day. Can I interrupt again? Shut <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a youngsters thing to, to like to interrupt old people, lah. Uh. I think <laughs> it's, it's like that, lah. Uh. <laughs> I think so. We're turning twenty-five this year. Not yeah. that old. But but isn't it scary how the comparison we are making is always related to social media? Because like why I mean it's social why media social uh, media only? Okay. No, but okay, see, uh, social media is a reflection of society because audience determines what content you get, right? Because whoever pays the piper calls the tune, and you have to make your content to suit certain audiences so that you get paid. Mm. So therefore, media is a somewhat a reflection of your society. What's but popular in media? To be fair, not everyone posts content. Like Dawood, for example, he doesn't post any pictures. Okay. So he might be in depression and he won't post it on social media, you know? Okay. So like, it's a bit unfair to like make this judgment based on like how social you are, or what you post when you are in that state of like mood. So I'm just trying to say like there are two different people, you know, like some people will be very out there about it and okay. some will be more like conservative and quiet. Okay. Yeah, I, I get your right. point. Yeah, you get your point, huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I I also get you, but you also get me. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I hope so. Okay. Same, uh. <laughs> you also get me. <laughs> okay, as you were saying, Eagle, I won't interrupt. Promise. No, I want to talk about like your your depression. Belong habis lagi. Then when you are going through all of that, yeah. Then what are the things that you like have thoughts in your in your in your head? I mean, so. I I don't like to over label depression. I think that when you over label it, people would have self fulfilling prophecies. So it's technically diagnosed by frequency mm-hmm. and intensity, lah. Mm. So we talk about frequency, that intensity of the thoughts. It lasted for more than a month, right? Every day with a suicide of thoughts, thoughts about taking my life. Y- you know, depression is partially a chemical imbalance. So the serotonin imbalance in your head, which causes mood that you cannot immediately control. Okay. I say immediately because I do believe there is control, but you have to find it, lah. Within that moment, you just have less control, and I think that's where the devastation of depression lies, right? It's like attacking a computer's hard drive or the brain of the computer. That's that is the part that helps you to recover. So now that part has a virus. My my tools that I have for self-regulation or overcoming is now hijacked by depression. So even my strongest anchor, which was Christianity at that time, mm. became a problem because I thought God was punishing me. So everything is filtered. In a very dark lens, uh, and obviously I thought of taking my life for months, and then I came out of it slowly, uh, because of certain factors. That was at eighteen. Mm, and uh, what do you think was like some not really triggering point, but something that made you switch um, from the mindset of like being depressed to like, you know, having a more healthy. Yeah. It's, it's a gra- it was a gradual process, and in- incidentally, it switched into mania from there. Uh, my parents' support, my parents were always there every single day. My dad was retired, so he could stay with me. Um, I went to visit dog shelters. I went mm. to volunteer with kids with cancer. I was a mascot. And something in you changes when you see kids undergoing chemotherapy. Mm. Yeah. And so it gave me perspective. And the dogs, right, they didn't care if I was tall, short, fat, small, ugly, straight A's or straight F's. The only thing they cared about was that I was there serving them and loving them. Mm. And they gave me back that love in return. Mm. So it was very healing for me. And I eventually got a dog as well. So so that helped me uh, slowly. Mm-hmm. So um, at, I'm just curious. At 18, you uh, went to depression, right? Then what about your NS days? Do you? I was past F. Past past F. What was? Oh, uh, sorry, past E. Sorry, past e, e. So I past E because I actually, um, maybe give some some context. I was a very competitive person growing up. I can't stand losing. So when I was when I was drafted to normal normal uh, NS, I I wrote a letter to commandos asking them to draft me in the commandos. That was in JC. Okay. Yeah, and then obviously I'm uh, not accepted because it doesn't work that way. So I always wanted to be the best. So when I got my pass got downgraded because of my depression, I fought to increase my pass again. Mm-hmm. So they increased my pass to pass B1. Okay. And then I think they saw my video or something because like, I created a video at that time oh. burning my A-level cert. And then they they reduced my pass again to pass E. Then so I was a club. I was punished for, for running. Was that like detrimental to your mental health or was that just like something on the side? Like not so serious? What was serious? detrimental? The fact that you got like downgraded to a different test. I was pass. affected a little bit because as I know, I want to chong, right? Mm. But I think I made the most of my NS days because I could build businesses while staying out. Yeah, so I directed my energy elsewhere. La. It was boring in the office, but I tried to use that time wisely. Mm. So mm. in the end, it worked out in my favor. Right. Um, also, just now you say you burn your A-level set. Yeah. Can you talk 
about it. So so mania is a state of extreme high. M A N I A. Have you heard of it before? M A M A N I A. Have you heard of bipolar? Nope. Yes, mania. Bipolar, yeah. Yeah. So bipolar is a state of mania and depression. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's a flip, right? So mania is the flip side of depression. Um, you get into a state of extreme high, like you're possessed with energy. Okay. You feel like you're the savior of the world. You give out money randomly. I mean, technically, I do that now. But back then, it was just <laughs> one of the technical symptoms of that. Okay. Mm. So you do very random stuff. Uh, you think that you are a god or something. And then I remember typing in my group chat, my JC group chat. This, this is very stupid, by the way. So one of my friends went to Brown University, right? And then Emma Watson was studying there. So they were like, you know it's Emma Watson, right? Yes. Harry Potter. Yeah, so... <laughs> My my f- my friend was like, hey, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go to Brown University. Everyone's like, hey, you know, let's take a picture of Emma Watson. Now I put in a group chat. I still remember this <laughs> damn stupid. I put in a group chat. I said, when I'm done with the video, Emma mm. Watson will know who I am. <laughs> I said that video get a billion views, um, ten million views or something. Because mm-hmm. I was so high, I was out of it, right? I was a lost sense of reality already. Yeah. So my friends thought I went crazy. Though. There was a girl that I was close with in JC. I remember. I, I kind of kind of liked her, but not not enough to you know, get g- get close to you. See the deal. So, anyway, um, after JC was over, uh, after I had my depression, I was recovering. I went to MBS to look for her because she was she was working there. Okay. I remember I walked past that booth. She was working in a concierge. I said hello to her. She acted like I was invisible. Damn, Damn that stuff. Yeah. Completely <laughs> invisible. Like that I just said hello man. so many times. She just she has, Then I, I walked away. We never approached her. No, no, I just, I just remember. I mean, if I were to empathize with her, I think she was just afraid. Right. Because mm. she was afraid I was not sane at that point in time. Uh, uh, which uh, I wasn't. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. So I put my elevator, I drink my own pee, eat my dog shit, dance in my mom's nightgown. It's a four-hour video that I made. Wait, wait, wait. Can wait, you wait. talk more about that? Because I'm just curious. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. About your, I- yeah. you eat your dog shit and yeah. drinking <laughs> your own pee. Wait, yeah, that's yeah, an yeah. actual thing. Uh. Huh? I thought you were fucking me. Eh. No, no. Yeah, it's true. Because so they asked me to bring my pee or some shit. I'm like, yeah. what? Who, who asked you to drink a pee? No. He asked <laughs> me to bring my pee. <laughs> <laughs> to let me drink? <laughs> no, no, no. no la, what the fuck? You want me to drink Shanice pee? <laughs> no, what the fuck is wrong with Shanice? I don't think she's 100% right no, now. I no, I, I didn't know there was an actual thing. I thought you were really like joking. Sir. No, no, no. This, this is a real thing. Can you <laughs> okay, please okay. tell us what happened actually? You no, drink your own pee? No, you I was possessed with emotion, right? And I thought, you no, know, I'll be the savior of Singapore. The, the whole intention of the video was to show that you don't need to be defined by your grades. Now, okay. I- ironically, that was the birth of my desire to be to do kindness content. Mm. Okay. Only after ten years, then I did it, right? And but okay, this not this is a long story. But let's go back to eighteen. So uh, when I did the video at that time, I think I was just possessed with energy, lo. Then I just did it, lo. Did I, what? The the video I filmed it. I filmed it in oh. one two weeks. Okay, so that's your dog, my, that's, my your, dog. that's your dog. Yeah. <laughs> How does it taste like? It's a good question. Uh. Okay. <laughs> to be to be fair, I didn't swallow it. I just chewed it. Okay. Shanice, yeah, Shanice why are laughing. you laughing? I'm being vulnerable here, Shanice. And you're laughing at my vulnerability. <laughs> you spit. No, sorry. Sorry, I'm gonna so, repeat, so, I'm gonna sorry if I laugh. My, uh, I'm, I'm going to repeat myself, Shanice. I don't myself, you, uh. If you laugh, I'm fucking... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just... You know what? <laughs> Let's try that again. I'll give you a try. So. No, you're going to smile, uh, by the way. Go, please go ahead. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was, it was pretty chewy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. Let <laughs> 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 me go already. <laughs> no, 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 I no, mean, no. I, mean the, the, I mean the viscosity was not bad. <laughs> the chewy stuff. <laughs> so wait, so like, does it? It's smell? normal, lah. That's normal. It doesn't smell. I baked it. What you I bake? Your, you bake? Don't, don't tell my mom. I baked it in the in the oven. You see, because you see, <laughs> even even in that. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the insanity, right? There was some sanity. Yeah. I was like, no, no, no. I cannot die from bacteria. I'm going to bake it. I don't think it made a difference, la, but it was quite high heat, la, like 200 degrees or something. But you didn't season it? Uh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> no season, season it. No, no salt, no nothing. Season it. Unfortunately, my dog passed away recently, so we, oh. can't, try, we can't try it again. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the only time? La. Huh? First and the last time? or like oh my Yeah, god. first and the last time. But for, for the right price, I might do it again. Oh, maybe try human everything oh is yeah. negotiable. Maybe try human shit. Uh, no way. Eh, I still ready prepared for you. T- <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please. for the right price. <laughs> <laughs> bring out your shit, Asa. Bring out. Okay, <laughs> then like the pee is human pee or dog pee? Or my my own pee. <laughs> your own pee. Yeah. So I I pee, <laughs> but I didn't show it on camera, but la. Okay, but honestly, okay. Listen, I put. Okay, last time I tell you very funny. Last time I right, no camera one. 
No, I mean, uh, everything was low, low quality, right? Okay. So I took my freaking laptop to the toilet. Oh, webcam. The webcam thing. Yeah, yeah the oh, webcam. Toilet. I see. I remember it was a white Novo. I can't remember what it was. And then I took it to the thing. And then, like, I peed. And I showed a bottle. Went back to my room and drank it. Oh, my lord. But honestly. Lord, have mercy on you, Kevin. <laughs> Dennis is. No, honestly, if. Not if showing me respect at this point in time. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm no, I, I, sorry. No, I'm obviously kidding, I'm obviously kidding. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> no, la, but <laughs> for me, like, pee is still okay, la, because actually human can drink pee. La. Huh? Human can drink pee. Right? Yeah, you know me? Yeah. I was inspired by Bear Grylls. So anyway, why I was drinking my pee is because I was doing a man versus wild segment. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So in case you all do not, Bear Grylls was one of my inspirations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I was like, hey, you know, let's do a man versus wild segment. I cooked the frog in Bird Reservoir. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait. One last question about the shit. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you want to eat the dog shit, not your shit, or someone else's shit? Why, I mean why, that, why the dog there's shit? There's a limit, like, you know? No, oh, really, really? I really want to know. I see, we are going to a very intellectual discussion. <laughs> right <now>. Why <laughs> dog shit instead of my shit? Yeah. I, j- I don't know. I have no idea. We just choose, like. I, just choose I think it's the one. idea of something absurd. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Kinky, because, it? because, okay, my dog appeared on camera. Mm-hmm. In the video, so mm-hmm. it's like it's a nice linkage. But but this thing is not planned, right? It's just impromptu thing, or you actually plan? No, I planned it. So like, planned. okay, okay, okay. On a serious note, I know it's funny, right? Okay, I, I try and bring it back to a serious um, okay. tangent, right? So I know it's funny, but the, the reality is that mania is not a funny thing, mm-hmm. right? Because the fact that I can do such extreme stuff, right, mm-hmm. is insane. People look yeah. at me now. I'm like, I'm okay. I mean, yeah. some people still find me a bit a bit crazy, but that's like a kind of a managed thing, right? Yeah. Last time was not managed at all. It was not a persona at all. It was actually me. And people in mania do things that they regret. Okay, put into jail. Mm. They maybe they, they slap like a employer and, and they get into very bad trouble. I think it was a very big CEO or something. He went to mania. I can't remember the name la. Okay. But he, mania face he abuses him. He slapped his employer, or whatever. And then he got his entire career was. Uh, over, uh, yeah. so when you when you, when you when you talk about this, I s- reminded me of Fusi Tube. Huh? You remember Fusi Tube? Oh, Fusi Tube. Oh, what, yeah. what, what At a point of time where he got this, he went through this phase, one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. who's Fuji Tube? No, yeah. I have no idea. But oh, I you know, know Kurt Day. You know Kurt Day? Uh, yes. Kurt Day, Kurt Day is, is bipolar. You can tell. Can see. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Can see. So you, okay, when you're going through that, like suicidal thought and everything, you would actually write like a suicide note and everything. Um. Okay. The first depression wasn't as bad as the second one. The second one that I had in when I was 28, this was 2022. Okay. It was 10 times worse. That one I actually wrote out my notes. I was ready to go already. The first one, I didn't get to that stage. It was just suicidal thoughts. Mm-hmm. But what makes you like, why, why, why you go back there? Okay, so we are fast forwarding, right? So we, we closed this chapter. I went, I, I overcame, I went to uni. Mm. I built businesses, okay. right? Uh, and then in 28, I NFTs and crypto. Oh, okay, okay. So I invested heavy amount there. Let's My go. entire life savings, right? Was about 200 plus K at that time. I lost everything within a few months. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. Yeah. So so you've been in crypto for how many how many years already? Since since it started. Now oh, now I'm out already. No 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 not since it started. Since the hype generated, which is on the year late of late twenty twenty one. Late twenty twenty one. Okay. So you know. But I now it's uh bull run again. You no, I'm I'm, com- I'm completely out already. I mean, I'm only I investing mean, properties now. Oh, is it okay? Yeah, okay. I'm completely out because it's not. I have a, I have a problem with gambling because you you also go out like you know. Relax. <laughs> it's addictive, right? It's not just addictive, like it's because my personality trait, right? I need influence. I need to feel important. Mm. Uh. Right? People people why am I doing content like that? Yes, I'm selfless, but part of it's because I'm selfish. It makes me hey, feel hey, good. Hey, that's a very good point. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel influential. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I want the influence, right? For mm. a good point. I mean for a good cause. So so but then there's a darker reason behind that and darker reason is that you 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 really yeah, you crave that. So gambling is the fastest way to do it. Because if you play poker, mm. you're all in, you look at the guy's face across the table, you feel important because he's scared, right? Yeah. So you get that feeling and then if you win, uh, uh, uh. best if you win. Because poker is, okay, poker is very simple. You just get better hands to fold and lower hands to continue. Mm-hmm. That's essentially all it is in poker. But the entire premise of it requires a lot of strategy, skill mm-hmm. and emotional control and reading people's body language as well. So I enjoyed it. But, but I lost a lot of money there as well. Like three, four, five K. Mm-hmm. Then I stopped it. But because I never learned my lesson and life is just a series of lessons until yeah. you learn it. Yeah. The biggest lesson I had to learn was the crypto one. Mm. How you lose your money? Um, it just, it, it, NFT just went down. No? And I also oh, invested okay. into Tesla options as well. Into leap, Tesla leap options. At the point of time, Tesla was really the, the thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. 
right? And everyone's hyping it up. Mm-hmm. So I made a lot of money on Tesla. But then the options just crashed and evaporated. Mm-hmm. So it went to zero, like, basically. Mm-hmm. One, leap te- one Tesla leap option at that time was about 50k. Wow. Mm. Yeah. And is that one of your main source of incomes as of today? What, what is my main source of income? Like crypto. He w- went out already. He yeah, he went out already. already. Oh, you're done already? Yeah, yeah, yeah I said earlier. But do you still invest? No. Um, only in properties, no. And a bit of stocks, yeah. Listen okay. to this. <laughs> I, I was listening. Uh, it's okay. Sorry, I forgot. I want to ask you about Andrew Tate. Uh. It's interesting. Um, we can't put because, on TikTok. Because, uh, because you said that. Eh, no, no. And Ruthie said that depression is not real, but you went yeah. to depression. What, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think that's, that's fascinating. So people might feel that I get offended by that. But I can empathize with his point of view because he has never undergone mm. depression before yeah, yeah, yeah. in that sense, in a, in a, how to say, uh, in a sense that he has lost control. Mm, mm, mm. His protection mechanism is very strong because yeah, yeah, you know yeah. his background, right? He's yeah. a single parent, bad neighborhood, fighter. Yeah, yeah. So he has never gone through that state. He has guarded his mind to the extent that he has never gone down there. Yeah, so yeah. how can he understand depression? True. It's just like how I will never understand how Shanice feels, fully feels as a female. Yeah, oh. true. I was right? like confused for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. so I'm getting my point. So yeah, yeah. same, right? I, can, I can try to empathize, but I cannot fully empathize. Yeah, yeah, true. It's the same with people that have not undergone depression. I can try use analogies to help you empathize, but you just simply cannot if mm-hmm. you have not gone through it. So I understand mm-hmm. where it's coming from. And I feel like if that thought process helps men to guard against it, then so be it. I think the only danger with that is that people who face depression might feel invalidated and then mm. they get into worse depression. Mm. But to me, the overall pros of his message is more than his cons. Are. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Mm. I agree. Mm-mm. I mean, I get what you mean uh, from your point. But at the same time, I feel like in a way, depression is still like a mindset. Because you can be really upset about something or like, you know, going through a hard time. But as long as you switch your mindset, do you think it's like a mindset thing where you can switch it and be okay? Or do you feel like it's something you just have to go through with because you're in that moment and you have to just um, feel it? I would violently disagree with that. Okay, not violently. Politely. Politely disagree (laughs) (laughs) Kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, Like I said earlier, right? Like Andrew Tate also believes in that. Like it's a mindset thing. Like yeah. The fact is that your psychology does affect your mental health. Like positive thinking, positive psychology is a branch in psychology. I teach that in schools. Mm. I make my money from doing programs like that, right, in schools. Mm. So I get where you're coming from. Like mindset is crucial. Mm-mm. Yeah, But when it comes to diagnosis for depression, there is a chemical imbalance that's sometimes not easy to immediately control. Mm-mm-mm. You can ask your best friend, Lisa. She'll probably share. Mm-mm. I mean, I've been depressed in my life as well when I was like 16, 17 but I I felt like it was more of a moment thing and also a mindset thing where I was so like um, how do I say constricted with my worldview to yeah. a point where I feel like nothing else matters you know because I was so upset but maybe you're right like maybe I, I mean I'm sure there's actual like, evidence to show that there's chemical imbalances and all but yeah. I felt like once I was out there I mixed around with a lot of people then that's how I sort of like made it better. So it's also a mindset to like, okay, I want to change now. I don't want to be in this state anymore. And, but yeah, I know everyone has their own ways of like coping with it. No, she's right. She's right. Mm-mm. Depression is both psychological and physiological. It's always been researched from these two angles. Yeah. And also when you say that, uh, maybe Andrew Tate don't understand because he never went through that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can relate to that because like, previously, last time also, I when people talk about depression or they want to like, you know, end their life or every, anything, right? I w- cannot really understand. Yeah. Until one of my friend went through that, and then I'm like, "Wow, damn, son." Then I got empathy like, towards this kind of like people who go through this kind yeah. of thing, you know? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's talk about like when you are 28 years old, and then it w- it got worse, right? Got very bad. And then like actually, oh, it's got very bad. Like it's impossible for me to describe this. Uh, I'm I'm writing a book actually to mm. celebrate my 30th birthday. I was initially very upset about turning 30 la. I feel like I'm past my prime and whatever. But I decided... Huh? Uh, really? Yeah. You pass your prime. prime I, I, I feel, say that, I ask them no hope anymore, <laughs> sir, if you say that. I, I, <laughs> I feel because, because... Okay, desire, I mean, you heard this before, right? Desire is a contract that you make with yourself to be unhappy until you fulfill it. Mm-hmm. Right? So, like, a lot of desires are unfulfilled. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. then I feel like, oh, I never achieved much. But then I thought, uh, for the first time, just celebrate. You mm-hmm. know, write my journey. Hopefully, it gives people some inspiration. Mm-hmm. And, um, sorry, I guess what's the initial question? So sorry. Sorry? What's the What's initial your question? question? What's your question? No, like 28 years old, like what yeah. makes it even worse? Yeah, okay, correct. So, so it's hard for me to, my, my point is that it's hard for me to fully elaborate on it in two minutes. 
But b- bottom line is that I went insane. Like mm. I, 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 I couldn't control anything. Uh. So the moment I wake up, the suicidal thoughts are very heavy. I had hallucinations and sensations. So everything would kind of like, the world around me would feel like it's coming in. Mm-mm-mm. It's like everything is fuzzy. Mm-mm. I cannot focus on one thing at a time. Mm-mm-mm. I had very, very heavy anxiety. So my entire body would feel like I'm on fire. Mm. As well, mm. so I, I couldn't function. I couldn't function. I couldn't work as well. Mm-mm-mm. I just put everything I had to to bring myself to do talks in schools. Uh. Yeah, so I, I was still doing talks in schools, but purely on my subconscious, I would go in, do it for one hour, and then come out feeling just equally suicidal. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, so it just it just progressed, progressed, progressed for a year. But do you do you ask for help? I was taking about eight eight medications, seven or eight pills a day. Oh, is it? It didn't work. I was on antipsychotics, antidepressants. When did you realize it, the thing actually realized. didn't work? When did I realize? Yeah. I How many months in? No worries. Like when he eat and don't feel anything? Yeah, like like you know, maybe the same no, thing. sometimes it's like, okay, I just started. So okay, maybe so it takes time, you know? Mm-hmm. So, so for, for psychiatric medication, right, there's, always a, there's always a period where they say it takes time for the medication to take effect. Mm. Usually it's one to two weeks. Mm. Okay, up to three weeks. Then doctors will have all these recommendations, blah, blah, blah. And my mom will always follow it because my, my, my parents journey with me very closely. So they always kind of tell me, Kevin, no worry, you know, it takes two weeks. I was very annoyed because it just didn't work. It didn't work. Mm-hmm. I tried cold showers, I tried meditation, I tried everything. Absolutely nothing worked. To the, to the point where I was so desperate that, that I decided to, to go. Uh, that I decided that it's time to take my life. And I wrote everything out. You know, bought envelopes to send out. I bought origami heart shapes or so. And I visualized exactly how we'll do it uh, on 23rd July, 2023. I visualized exactly. Like last year? Yeah. Then. So, mm. I, it's, it's a very profound pain. It's, it's really impossible for me to describe it in true words. It's like you're there. You're there lying on your bed the last couple of days of your life and you're just imagining your entire life. <laughs> mm. Right? The love's... The love's times you've been in love, the times you've made mistakes. You think about what people will say to you at your funeral. You think about what God will look like, you know, and you pray that you've done enough mm. to try and make it to heaven. And I think one of the consolations was that, yeah, at least I get to go up there and there's no more suffering. Mm. Mm. Escape. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, but, do, you, do you feel like, because I've been in a similar situation before yeah. and I know like people who have been in that situation, like I feel like the moment you actually write those like suicide notes or you are about to make the yeah. act right of it you kind of realize that is shit actually i want to be alive like it's not I, okay maybe maybe what i went through wasn't that bad to a point where like, i had to fully execute yeah but i feel like the moment you actually put it into play right it's like no i actually i don't i want to be alive <laughs> you know what M- i mean many people have that experience and i think it was similar to mine okay so when i wrote it i was like no i think a part of me is when I, especially when i write to my parents Mm-hmm. Right, I broke yeah. down because like, hey, they raised me up. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're gonna live with this pain for the rest of yeah. their life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. that was one factor that stopped me. The other factor was just the hope that it could get better. T- okay, honestly, and that's why I share my videos as well. Like I'm genuinely right, fascinated by how fast I recovered. Mm. Seriously, in six months, I started radical. Then I gave out 10k in the same envelopes that I was supposed to send out. Mm-mm-mm. The money. Mm-mm-mm. It was insane to me how fast the switch was, you know. And and I tell people this because there are many people who genuinely like believe that there's no hope left for them. Yeah. I want to tell them that there is, uh, there really is. You just got to cling on to it and just take it one step at a time. Mm. And, and do you feel like doing this type of content was it like part of your recovery, or was it something that you did after you already like sort of became yeah. yourself again? You know. Uh, yeah, actually, that's a good question because I always say that like. My Honestly, people think I'm doing content to help other people. It's true, I am. Mm. But the first person I'm trying self. to... Yeah, the first person I'm trying to help is myself. I'm mm-hmm. trying to save myself. That's what people don't realize when they call me a hypocrite or they say, hey, why is this guy got an agenda? My agenda is very simple. I'm trying to save my life. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's okay. I don't think people will fully have time to go into my story and everything. And and I'm okay being misunderstood. You're on social media. You all know. You must be okay being yeah, misunderstood. Yeah, have to. Um, but... I think my, my point is that I'm very privileged to be in this position. I count my blessings every day. I have no complaints now in my life. Like, mm. yeah, I mean, if someone just recently someone DM me and called me a motherfucker, right? Oh, damn. This is the first time I ever received a DM like that. I, I was just laughing at it because, like, that 
struggle compared to what I face. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> silly, nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, by the way, he was saying motherfucker to what video? No, nothing. He just, just no, no, no. On my on my TikTok stories, I was giving out five hundred dollars. Okay. So I I, I made a video. I'm giving out five hundred dollars. You want to join my Telegram channel? I want to incentivize you all to, you know, step out of your comfort zone and mm. reward you. Okay. Then he replied to that story. Motherfucker. Yeah. Motherfucker, give me my five hundred dollars. <laughs> the internet is the internet. <laughs> so it's never gonna change. So it's unfortunate. These people, obviously, they they live. I, I, I empathize for them. I feel sorry for them. But why do you think they do this? Like, why do they, like? Your guess is as good as mine, to be honest. Like, I've n- I've no idea. Maybe projection. Maybe, you know, someone was unkind to them, and they feel like kindness is a scam. Maybe they don't like my face. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they don't maybe. like the way my eyebrows look. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. Maybe the eyebrow. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Right. Actually, okay. Lah. No, I like eyebrows. Don't worry. I like eyebrows. <laughs> Thank you, Shanice. You're welcome. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Like. It's it's good like it's, uh, what makes you wanna like switch suddenly switch switch to switch to like you get to recover la. What makes you? I think it was friends do? that uh, Ling and Iskanda they from Project Green Ribbon, so they run a mental health charity. A couple okay. has gone through their fair share of problems and struggles. They were the only one that understood. I think you 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 can only understand brokenness if you have been broken before. Mm, 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 mm. I digress for a side story. I was on a yacht. Okay. Okay, with very top insurance directors okay. just a networking thing and I was telling my story to, to some of them and the level of empathy and holding space right was almost non-existent mm. it was like I told the story it's like I'm gonna take my blah 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 and then you just switch the topic it's almost oh. as if they don't want to talk about it yeah 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 yeah. because to them it's like oh positive mindset <laughs> then uh-huh. no 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 I don't talk yeah. about these things I'm not everybody not everybody but I'm just saying that a certain class will not understand this it takes brokenness to understand it. And mm. those people understood it. Mm. They understood it and they empathized me and said, Kevin, don't worry, this is temporary. Because at that point in time, I had nervous issues, right? I was like twitching. I was like, I felt insane really. Then I was like telling them, I, I cannot function. Then they're like, no, don't worry, it's nervous issues. Do something, stop taking medication. So anyway, disclaimer, this is what they said. Please check with your professionals if you want to do this. But they told me to stop medication. They said that it's a cycle, you repeat it. It's not good. So I stopped it. I changed the supplements. Mm. Okay? Whether it's a placebo or not, I'm not sure. Yeah, but I changed the supplements and then the anxiety stopped and then I could do work again and then it created an outward spiral. And within a month, I got so much better. And then I okay. keep building and building and building. I fell in love with somebody. She broke my heart and then I started radical kindness. Oh, damn. Oh, man. Yeah, that was, that was uh, the story. La. Basically, she felt I was incompatible with her. Oh, okay. One of the reasons she gave was that I was too impulsive, a bit spontaneous, a bit radical. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I said so screw that it. That is where the name came from. Uh. Yeah, so is I said it? screw it. I'm not changing who I am. I'm putting in the name. So mm. we've been three days after three days after she said that I started radical. So this one another curious question. When <laughs> because um, <laughs> because <laughs> like how do you move on from hers uh, when your you know your I still have fully. Is, oh, you haven't fully moved on. When I look at her pictures, I don't okay, know why I, I torture uh. myself like that. But when sometimes it appears on my feet or. I block her stories really lah. Sometimes her feet block stories. Appears. Yeah, you but should block her fully. Okay. Why? Block her, man. I don't know. I mean, it okay, time, okay, listen. listen a, a part of me wants to See. look at her stuff yeah. and yeah. say, "I wish the best for you." I think to me that is the highest form of healing. When you can look at highest somebody, form of highest form of healing. healing. What? When you can look at them with somebody else. Okay, this is a little Loki bit. Rabba. This is a little bit graphic. <laughs> no, listen. This is a little bit graphic, and I read this in a book somewhere. Right? This is a, okay. a spiritual thing. But if you can imagine the girl having sex with someone else and feel okay with it, then you're, you're, you're fine. What mm. in the f- Like your what? ex-girlfriend? Nah? Yeah. Not girlfriend, she's not my girlfriend. It's a situation ship. Okay. Not even girlfriend? No, it's a situation ship. Bye-bye, say bye-bye. Block her. <laughs> but, but, but I Advice. feel like the more you, you feel like you, the more you block her, like you, you stay away from her, yeah. the more you will get used to it. Yeah. You know? The more you no, will like, get no, used okay, to it. No, there's no one size fits all. I feel like that's a good advice, right? Get her out of your life. Yeah. Don't think about it. Cut it clean. Yeah. Yeah. Don't even think about it. Then slowly you will get used to yeah, it. Yeah, but, okay, but I don't to really me, it's like, I'm very stubborn. La. You know, I like to believe that I can transcend. You want to fight against your own but thing is mindset. You eh? can't. You think, you think I can't, Shanice? I, no. <laughs> <laughs> looks, like she, looks like he can't. Uh. <laughs> Still thinking about it. <laughs> no, I, I want to get to a transcendence where okay, I genuinely feel happy. Kevin, but you're relying Kevin, Kevin. on it for your 
for you to overcome it. So it's sort what, of like what, you're what, waiting what, for what, that what, moment where you mm-hmm. can visualize her having sex with a guy. No, not that. That's, that's oh. extreme case. I'm just saying that oh. maybe with her with someone else on my feet. Okay, yeah, yeah. right now on a yeah, scale yeah. from one to ten, right? Yeah. Slim, what? Mo- moving on scale, uh, <laughs> where are you at? On a scale from one to ten. I don't know, man. We'll see I'm seven, hoping uh. it's it's like a five or below five. Not, Wait, on a moving on scale, in ten, <laughs> ten being fully moved on, is it? Ten no, no. being um, still still not move on. One is like okay, I move on. Yeah. Maybe one two. Oh, oh damn! Okay whoa, whoa! Yeah. Huh? I did oh, so not okay. expect that, bro. So it's okay, yeah. lah. That means you kind of no. move on. In no, no, one, okay, so it's no, ten, ten. You, you know, Charlie's not listening. She, he gave the, he Wait, gave the spectrum. Is, ten is move on or one is no. move on? No, move on. Ten, ten is heaven move ten on. Ten heaven move on. One oh, is so move on. Yeah. Okay lah, two okay lah. Yeah lah, okay lah. It's but not a problem. Not oh, he, oh, you just changed your answer. It's not now. a problem. I don't wake up and cry in the middle of the night oh, saying this. Uh, yeah. like, but you still want to like check her out like that lah. No, I don't. Huh? Uh, you just then block ah. <laughs> I don't check out. No, I just want to be genuinely happy for. No, her. the thing so is like, okay, okay, okay. But you he wants to know how the girl is doing, and yeah, the intention yeah, is yeah. like, I hope you yes, are doing yes, so correct. well. Yeah, yeah, you correct, know. Correct, correct, yeah. But you can just. Send it's a just text. a thirty-year-old mindset. Right. No, that's worse. You that's can just worse. send a text. Say, um, you know, I wish you all the best in life. Blah blah. Block block block. Bye bye. If you block, like, it shows that. That, 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 that you tension. cannot fight against your that, own mindset. That, 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 no, you no, that was one thing. Yes, that was one thing. <laughs> but but at the same time also, it's like no, both the, of the, the tension. Correct. The tension is there. I just want to show the girl that hey, both we are good. Yeah, All the cool, best to you. Yeah, cool. yeah. I don't have to it block you or anything. It depends on on, on whatever stage. Yeah, like everyone yeah. is different. Everyone is different. So it's okay. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, what about your experiences? Have you have you moved on? For me, I always block lah. Um, I think last year. you moved on. Yes. Okay. Yeah, she needs to move on quite fast. Uh. Yeah, I move on yeah. fast. If yeah. someone does me wrong, I move on fast. Maybe one of the reasons also because of the guy ugly. Uh. But anyway, hi- for Haikal, uh, right? We've got other reasons also. La, but Haikal, uh, last year, you just move on. Last year. <laughs> from what, sir? <laughs> Do look. Right. From what? Move on from what? Last year? I mean, the... Nah. Girl. I thought yeah, he know yeah. girlfriend since 20, nah, what? Nah, 17? Nah, situation, she... <laughs> hey, stop it. Uh. So what the fuck? <laughs> I think when you meet someone else, naturally your mind will be occupied as well. You know, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's fine, uh. I want to ask you this. Yeah. Do you do you believe that um because there's a lot of people say this uh, like when the more you talk about your problems right, mm-hmm. the bigger your problems will be? Um largely agree. Agree? Yeah. Largely. I, I mm-hmm. agree to a large extent because whatever you focus on expands, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you whatever you say, what okay, my mentor used to tell me, wherever energy go at wherever energy goes, attention flows and results will show. Mm-hmm. So if you focus on what you can't control, yeah. you are reacting and the problem will revolve around the same problem. If you want to evolve from the problem, you have to focus on what you can control. It's but like what if let's that say is responding? I'm, what if I'm going through that shit okay. and I just need someone to talk to? So I'm gonna talk about that problem. How? So how that, do that, I That's okay, that? that's catharsis, right? But I think beyond a certain stage, yeah. Yeah, you have to internalize it and say that okay, I'm not gonna talk as much. Because mm, mm. you cannot be keep repeating yeah, again and again yeah, yeah, for yeah. a year, ma. That's why I'm talking about like some people talk about therapy. Yeah. When you go to therapy, right? You keep on talking about your problems. Ah, I see where you're going. The more okay. you talk about your problem, the more you cannot like go away okay. that thing <laughs> won't go away man. okay let me bring back so the discussion <laughs> I love you, you. Let, me, let me bring ah, back hey give me my, my bubble sorry uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry to interrupt so maybe bring back my discussion the mental health so when I was struggling um, two girls decided to help me out okay, this was one of my good friends okay uh, she was very spiritual she reads up a lot mm. she explains things very well reads up what she reads up on spirituality oh I see you know, religion and just general general spirituality. Mm. So she understands pain and struggle very well. So mm-hmm. she was when I reached out to her, she said that it's a feedback. She explained it in her own way because at that point of time I had sensation. So anyway, I didn't cover this. So the reason how this thing started is because I started to feel sensations in my body. So you can feel your feet on the ground, right? If I ask you to focus on it. But then can you? I don't know. I don't by the way, I don't know what's so funny. Uh. Why Shans- are you laughing? Can you elaborate? Sensational. I'm gonna do for you. <laughs> sorry, sorry, no. Look at no, his face. No, why are you laughing? No, no, let's let, 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 uh, pause. Ah, pause. Ah, no, no, why are you laughing? No, no, this is like don't mind sharing. Face. <laughs> don't mind sharing, Shanice. No, please continue. I, I just share. Okay, okay, okay. Don't tell. Okay. okay, so, okay. So, so, okay, okay. so, so sensations on the, on the feet, right? Yeah, and the the sleeve, the sleeve against like my my skin. Then I'll feel that my eyebrows. I'll feel my my eyes blinking. Okay. So it'll be like OCD because OCD is an anxiety disorder. Mm. Right, so people mm. don't know that the thing is just washing hands is not an anxiety disorder. So the anxiety creates certain patterns or loops. So I started to feel all these stupid things. I couldn't get it out of my mind. So I was telling, I was talking to my friend about it. She was just saying that this is just a spiritual feedback to tell you that 
I can't remember the term exactly used. You see, your body stores trauma, and now it's manifesting itself. Okay, there, there is research behind that, but I don't go into that. It'll take too long. Because you're saying that my feet is there because maybe I was running away from my problems, or maybe there's certain trauma that I faced. One guy was said that when I was 18 years old. Pause. Yeah. Look at Shinny's for a while. I don't know. Uh, what's wrong with Shinny's? Uh? Hey, Shinny, what's wrong? Let's talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Are you looking at Aslam? He's also laughing eh, he's laughing for what? Okay, <laughs> Haika, okay wait, Haika, why are you laughing? Honestly, yeah, I, I don't get it, I say, what the fuck no, is wrong with youngsters? Your face, youngsters, what's up youngsters? <laughs> <laughs> below 30 is, uh, below 30. Let's get serious. Yeah. I'm, I'm serious. Okay? No, oh, wow, it's, it's your face that like, fucking stupid, okay, okay. I don't need all my face to now. He purposely do this uh, by the way. Just so you know. setting this thing up. Yeah. What's that talking about? Okay, okay, okay. I can't. Okay, okay. okay, okay. 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 about the feet. So, so, so now the feet thing. Okay, so, so sensations, right? So anyway, my friend was, was talking to me, and then she was like, "Okay, let's let's talk to you about this." Then two of them came in, and then they were trying their best to talk to me and breaking it down for me and everything, saying that I have to change my my, my mindset and everything, my my rewire my mindset. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, she wasn't laughing. Wasn't laughing. <laughs> what is it? She wasn't. Wasn't. I was just smiling because she was like. No, I was, I was, I was trying to get my tea. Yeah. Better not, later spill. <laughs> stop, lah, bro. Stop. Okay, Buster. Okay, let's oh go. God, sorry, yeah. Uh. Okay, okay. It's not me, I swear, I swear. It's just fucking idiot. She should blame me. Okay. Okay, 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 let's go. So, basically, they they decided to help me. And then, I think when I talked to them, I felt okay. Okay. But a part of me felt like, like I couldn't relate fully to them. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like to me as a guy, right, I needed to achieve. I needed to like get back my competency okay. to recover. Mm -mm. They, were, they were trying to let me let go of that. They were telling me I don't need to make as much money, you know, just make 5k enough, 4k enough. Then I was like, no, 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 I cannot, I cannot let go of this. Then they were trying to make me feel like money is not everything. Mm -mm -mm. You know? So like, because of that, eventually I stopped. No, I'm, I'm very grateful for them. They helped me in that period mm -mm 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 -mm. of time. But eventually I, I stopped that. And I think I came out of it partially because I went back to work. And there's, I, I listened to a, I can't remember Chris Williamson or something. He said that men and women, the way they, what they need for therapy and di is different. For okay. men, you need something to chase. You need a purpose. You need something to achieve mm. and feel important or whatever. Like, you're just saying yeah, yeah, that yeah. the way to overcome depression is not yeah. to sit and talk about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To get him to go to the gym, get him to do something. Mm -mm. I get what you mean. So, so I get where that person is coming from. La. People might label it as toxic masculinity. No. La. But, but I know long enough, I've been in space long enough to know that everybody has different yeah, 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 yeah. Different ways of overcoming, yeah. lah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get what I mean. It's true. Um, hey, well, how do you think women overcome it? Like compared to men, like what's the difference to you? I mean, based on what they share, I think women would, would be more talk it out a little bit more, process their emotions. More emotional. Yeah, process mm -hmm. it a little bit more. Versus guys that they just need an outlet to achieve. Uh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, lah. I want to divert the topic. Um, to like dating in Singapore, lah. <laughs> Sure. Because then as, we can as laugh. As right? laugh huh? No, because yeah. as much as yeah, I want to <laughs> <as much, laughs> Yeah. Okay, okay. I know I know you all like to talk about it. Come, let's talk about it. So I just want to know your opinion on dating in Singapore. Like what do you think about it in general? I've Easy, never, huh? I've never and how's your dating life? Yeah. I've never dated in ten years. So oh, whatever okay. that I share, whatever I share is from a like just observation point of view. What I observe on social media now that I'm on social media, I find it very funny. So you're not on dating apps? No, I'm not. Damn. Yeah. But like Is Shanice on dating apps? Yeah, she is I'm not Everywhere Especially Tinder Him? Yeah. He's on OkCupid, okay Tinder, everything Uh-huh huh? But uh, 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 I think uh. both of them lah I'm not yeah. wow. There's no way You're Shanice not. on dating I'm apps lah I don't think she's on But this guy but she, is on she, I think she, about she three dating apps This guy is on <laughs> three dating others. apps Okay, okay. <laughs> No, uh, okay But the situation is Some sort of like a Yeah lah, yeah lah I mean that was the first in 10 years lah Right? I mean the first technical Technical girlfriend I had Was when I was 18 like she was 16, 16 at that time. Um, she wrote on my YouTube. I made a video, right? A four hour video. Uh, uh, she wrote on my YouTube video, like, I'm struggling, can you help me? I'm oh, suicidal, okay. uh, I have an eating disorder. Mm. My mom was the one that told me to text her. Oh, my mom was like, This girl, very poor thing, go and meet her. Mm -mm. So I meet her, I meet her, and then she had an eating disorder. And I think it was out of sympathy that we got together. It was just two people that broken coming uh, together, uh, 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 uh. you know? And, and our staff, uh, Mm. Ah, because every time I kissed her, I would smell vomit. Because she always <laughs> vomit. Okay, okay. Yeah, because <laughs> of like eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. But like, how did the relationship last? Or were you guys... Uh, six months. It maybe. just ended. 
immediately. Six months. And it was not even an official. You can't... Okay. Technically, you can call it girlfriend, boyfriend, yeah? But it's not a proper relationship. Mm. It's just not. Okay, mm. but how does it work in your generation? Do you have to ask them to be a girlfriend? My generation. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Walk out for a second. Uh. <laughs> like, do you have to like ask them or you know automatically? You know what I mean? Ask to what? be like your girlfriend, boyfriend. Okay, let's make a scenario over here. Okay, let's say okay, you, let's wa- you want her now. Like, make it official. How would sure. you say? Like, do you say or will Shani's know then? Am I supposed to know? Like how? Because okay. I feel like a lot of people are different on this. No, I think there are people. Okay, people are different. Some of them they hang out for a while, then they like they start talking about this. Like, what are we? Then it's okay, like, let's get together. Mm, the question, right? right? What are we? Yeah, it's yeah. Always then we get the together. What are we? For are we? me, it's <laughs> like I'm like, like I said, I'm influenced by traditional masculinity and gender roles, right? Mm. So for me, it will always be me who ask. So right? you will ask like, like I will ask. You want to be my girlfriend? I will ask, and oh. I have this thing where. I would create like a scrapbook of all our dates and put it together. Oh, damn, son. And ask with a gift. Take notes. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I've always wanted to do that. And I did that for the girl <laughs> that I was with, the situation ship thing. And I went overseas with her as well. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, it was bad because like, I was very attached. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. And then I had, to, I mean, the photos are still with me, but it's like, oh, I was it? yeah, I was preparing to write the book. But, okay, to be honest, to be honest, it was still very far. Like. And, and, okay, let's, let's put it this way. You want to talk about dating, right? I think yeah, a lot yeah. of people, okay, they say love is blind, correct? A lot of people go by chemistry, they don't go by compatibility and then they end up not lasting for long. Mm. Oh, so right. the reality is that I was not compatible to her. Mm. In hindsight, when I look back at it, I was not. At that point in time, I was blinded by love and blinded by mm. infatuation. Mm. So I never felt like this attached to somebody ever. Mm. Yeah, I was like, I know we can work this out, you know. And it was a, it was a, it was a harsh slap in my face also because like, you know, red pill culture, if, if you're rich, you know, you're financially independent, blah, blah, blah. It's easy to get close, mm-hmm. right? And she didn't care about my... She didn't care la, whether there are more money than most people. Like, she just... I, did, I couldn't buy her over, basically. And mm-hmm. I tried to. Mm-hmm. And what do you think are the traits of compatibility that you should look out for? For me? Like, compared to chemistry, right? Like, yeah. For I me, always, personally, I like generic. to rave about chemistry, you know? So, <laughs> what do okay. you think is different? Like, okay, generally or me, specifically? Generally. And you? Yeah, okay. Generally, I think it would be things like religion, world, oh, yes. world view. Oh, that one I agree. World Values. View. Yeah, political views as well, whether you're left-leaning or right-leaning. Because mm. if you're woke and you're very woke and, you know, pronouns and everything, I think it's very hard to agree on a lot of things, I feel. You know? Yeah. Um, especially when it comes, for example, gender roles in a marriage. In Islam and in Christianity, this idea of submission, right? Like, females have to submit to men in the household, men have to lead. So some people might not be comfortable with that in itself. But in itself, that's... Okay, we're going in there, it's quite deep. But <laughs> basically saying that everybody in the household, somebody has to lead. Mm-hmm. That's all. It's all saying that. It's not, it's not subjugating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, 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 it's just the rules. Uh, it's not that yeah. deep, you know. To, you know <laughs> yeah. It's deep whenever it is, yeah. they put religion inside it. Uh, mm. that's gonna be cool. I think religion, I agree, is the one of the most yeah. important factors to look out for. Oh, spiritual, or spiritual views, I would say. Okay, yeah, so yeah. so um, don't you want to date anytime soon? Is do you want to date? I want to write. I want to write. <laughs> Can also, what? Don't you want to date Kevin? Can what? No, cannot. No, no. I want to. I want to write. Kevin, school him. Hey, Ken or not? That Ken one. what? Date you? No, as in, don't <laughs> you want to date Kevin? <laughs> the, they're talking about the sentence. Don't yeah, you the sentence. or the do English you? is wrong. No, I, I, it's, it's okay. Don't you want to date, comma, Kevin? Ah. Uh. Denise, come on, yeah, I got copper inside lah. Okay, 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 go lah, go, go ask them. Yeah, what was the question that I did? I want, I want to write my book first. I want to launch it first. Mm. Focus on that. First. When are you launching it again? Sorry. Uh, my birthday. My birthday is in July, but then July. there's no slot, so I'm putting on 10th August. Soon. What's your zodiac sign, ah? Whoa, okay. Suddenly, suddenly, it's just my zodiac sign. Cancer. He's that Cancer. Our guy, do, do, you, do you believe in zodiac sign? No, I don't. But I'm open to astrology. I feel like within a certain time and space, it might affect your person. If I go out on Wait, a date, right? uh? if I go out on a date. And mm. a girl talk to me about zodiac sign, right? Leave w- her lah. Bye bye. I will leave her. Ciao ciao. You know? So she just don't believe in that. No. Because she's an atheist. Huh? That's a good point, yeah. Exactly. If I believe in that and I don't believe in, you know. Yeah. It's a bit contradicting. I think so what are you are? Scorpio. You also, right? Aquarius. Oh, you're curious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, no lah. I mean, I mean, if people are, I mean, I'll be open to it. But if you make that your personality, then that's a problem lah. Yeah. Mm. So... Basically, not anytime soon. La. You are focusing on yourself first. No, I mean, you're not into soon, rushing soon, or anything. Soon is la. relative. La, right? yeah, yeah, Technically, it's quite a couple of months, it's not that far away. Some of you can't, like, love comes randomly, what? 
But even if you're not searching for it, who knows? Like it might come yeah. while you're still writing your book. So maybe or maybe so I'll write the book and somebody will reach out. Who oh, knows, damn, right? Huh? Oh, so that's the whole purpose of the yeah, book. Yeah, now we know. Is. <laughs> Yes, it's true. Partially is what? <laughs> you put your number at the back. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah, but what's I saying? But I think love is partially active as well. You can't just stay at home. Right? I mean, it's partially okay, active. But do, do you feel like in this day and age, right, it's hard yeah. to date? Because to hikle is like very hard. Why so? I'm curious. Uh, yeah. Why are you going? Because uh. you always say, I don't know why it's very hard to find a girlfriend. I don't know why it's very hard. This day and age, when I want a date, it's very hard. I told you, it's, what is it? it's so hard, hard to, to find the trophy, eh, the, the treasure. Oh, yeah, you all trophy. talked about it. Yeah. Uh, what do you think discussion. about that? Trophy, yeah. treasure. Yeah. It's true, yeah. I agree with it. Oh, you agree? Yeah. Oh. Why? Oh. It's, it's, hard to to it's, hard, it's hard to debate that one. Sometimes it overlaps. It's quite funny because when I was watching that, that, that podcast, right, then yeah. Shanice was like low-key thinking. Yeah. She don't get it. Which no, one, I, I think which about one myself. Yeah, I know yeah, she's I thinking think about myself. herself. Which don't tell her, don't tell her. Shh. Don't tell her. You can be both. la. I feel like. But at the end of the day, the treasure is more important. Exactly. Yeah. Because you're looking to build, I'm assuming, assuming you're looking, to, if you're looking for a fling, then different. Mm-hmm. If you're looking for someone to boost your clout, it's different. Yeah. But if you're looking for a long term partner to be the wife and mother of your kids, wife of your kids, no, mother of your kids, to raise your kids up, then yeah, you'll look for someone. But that's why I have a lot of debates for this. Yeah. Like to be fair, right? Like it's almost like you're saying just because someone is attractive or like maybe famous, mm. they cannot be valuable enough no one is to saying be that attractive. It's not, yeah. in, it's not independent. No, but it's always like desirable by other men, right? Yeah. And to be desirable, you have to be out there. This, so is, like, this so is the part like, where Shanice won't get it. Okay, what's the point? What's the point again? Ya Allah. You I try, I try, I try <laughs> to empathize. My, my, point, <laughs> my point is that you can be someone who is extremely desirable and attractive and also be someone who you can keep lah. I feel yeah, like yeah, I feel like you both now on the same page. Eh? Now I feel like I need to tag team with Shanice for a while. Please, just once, just, just once. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't yeah, see why. No, I don't see why that's contradictory. What? Yeah, that's BS. I see a treasure trophy. The okay, fuck, can man. you be a trophy girl if you are, like, let's say you only have like seventy nine followers on IG? It's not about the followers. No, it's, it's about, about the, the person. Followers. It's suddenly like I think you guys. But Shanice, no, I don't get it. You no, want me no, to no, express Shanice? Shanice, come on, Shanice. The guys. Okay, okay. Let's de- okay, maybe, okay. Maybe to this for this discussion, let's define what trophy is first. Yes, let me explain. Okay, okay. let Haikal explain. Okay. <laughs> let me explain. Okay, guys, listen up. <laughs> okay. Oh, you guys, listen up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, talk. Okay, say trophy, right? Yeah. Is someone who is in the game. Yeah. So right now, right? Okay, trophy. Whenever you compete for a trophy, right? It will like be Shanice, ah. Huh? What? Like, will you consider Shanice a trophy? Trophy, like. It's a burning question. No, no, no. Let me explain first. Oh, okay, okay. No, sorry. The is no. No, then, then you see like, whether you are a trophy or not. Okay. Trophy, right, belongs to the game. So whenever... Now, right, when we look at trophy, we know that trophy is being passed around to every... Every year, right, there's, there'll be a new new, new champion. A new champion, right? So which is the trophy. Okay. So every year, right, it will be passed around to different guys. Okay. That is the trophy girl. Okay, no, I... I I, s- I disagree slightly yeah, with that let's go, definition. Let's go. So this is this is my definition. Okay, no, no, no. Wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, it's good. Wait, wait. No, it's good. It's good that no, I disagree shouldn't. because I want to tag team. No, no, it's not tag team. It's not tag team. No, but this is no, my no, definition. Yeah, of no, no. This your, your definition is perfectly fine. So based on your definition, yeah. Then absolutely no trophy wife lah because it just means that sound has passed around. Right? Your exactly. definition is sound has passed around. So, yeah. so and also that's trophy. Not. It's also desi- it's desirable to people, but people don't want to take oh, them seriously. Okay. No, 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 no. no. But can, I, trophy I, can no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I come here. You can wipe out the trophy also. No, I, I disagree with that. No. I feel like if you're passed around a lot, you, you lose that desirability. Because you must understand, uh, de- desirability is linked to value and difficulty to get. Value is always linked to difficulty. If it's hard to date Shanice, for example, then it becomes a trophy in a sense because not many people can get her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's a good point. So that, that, that is my, that's my <laughs> definition of trophy, not your definition. Your definition is slut, really. It's not a trophy. Yeah. yeah. No, the thing is... Okay, actually, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Sorry, Nikhil. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nikhil, yeah. 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 wait, wait. The thing is that trophy girl can be wife up to... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, uh, think, uh, they, they, they yeah. cannot. Yeah. Can, can, right? Can, can, can right? But can. if you want to wife up a hoe, then wife up a hoe. Not necessarily no, a hoe. Because to him, a trophy girl is a hoe. Yeah, correct. That's why he already think this way. No, 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 I can. He fucked up. Hold on, hold on. There's a corruption mindset, Nikhil. Please, Nikhil, wake up. Wow, I love you, right? Now, the thing is, this is my definition of trophy and a treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys telling me my definition is wrong. No, no, no. I'm not saying your definition is wrong. Your definition is corruption. No, not whatever. Okay, wait. Let me, okay. Let me say one thing. Let's hear, let me just say one okay. thing, okay? okay? Based on your definition, okay. you are absolutely right. I'm arguing for my definition. Yeah, okay, what's your definition? What I said earlier. 
Uh, sorry, I wasn't. I see. He was just taking straight. Focus on that. Uh, uh, my point, definition uh. is some a trophy is someone that has clout. Someone okay. that is desirable, someone that is attractive by society standards. Okay, same, same. That's all what I say. What? Okay, same, same. Wait, wait, hold on. Let the wait, 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 wait. Let the thirty old finish. Same as me. Kevin, not Kevin. His name is Kevin, not thirty old. Bloody hell. Radical kindness. Yeah, but that's exactly my point. So I gotta be kind. I gotta be kind. So someone who is a trophy is someone who is extremely desirable, who has clout, who is out there. Same, I agree. Yeah. But at the same time, also that girl. I said just now. No, but that girl also can be passed around. That's why okay. men buy. Okay, why if she's not passed around? I agree. Then okay. she's a treasure. No, <laughs> I'm trying. No, no, Haiko. <laughs> no, no, Haiko. But I disagree with you on that. I disagree that oh, okay, you can I both disagree. be, you can be that and be passed around. By virtue of being passed around, I feel you already lose desirability. Mm. Not really. Uh. Give me an example. What the not fuck? Really, uh. So you were dead. Okay, do you, do you have any? Wait, wait, wait. Even celebrities been passed around and they still been they are still we're not talking about we are just well oh, we're not talking about celebrities <laughs> we are just well no, I'm just okay no, can you give me an example of a celebrity humans, that's no. passed around I could go the points then yeah you got a point you got a point give me okay give me an example of a celebrity look at that. Kim Kardashian okay is she desirable yeah everybody also want her what? doesn't matter if she's being passed around or what people still want her because yeah. that is the definition of a trophy girl bingo <laughs> no, Ma but we're we talking, talking about the treasure one. We're talking about I'm just saying the definition. There are girls like that, not not just celebrity, yeah, but there are girls out there also like that. That's called status. Okay, but but more importantly, she right. still don't get it. Oh. No, no, she no, gets it. it. She gets it. Hard, she needs see, to understand. See, see. Okay, what? As long as you have that much status to a point where you're like fucking high value in the world, yeah. not even to men, uh, in the world. Yeah, known as you yeah. are definitely a trophy. Okay, but can I just say one thing? I feel like with celebrities, right? Because they are so much, they have so much clout that even if they behave like quote unquote slut. Good that point. overweighs it. Okay. The yeah. fact that they're good so point. famous overweighs the fact that they sleep around. Okay, but you understand my. I know. I understand your point. I get your point, yeah. but it's wrong. <laughs> what wrong? Okay. More importantly, the outcome of this is you want to find a girl that's a treasure. Yes. Yeah. That's all. That's the outcome of it. No, you debate what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no debate. Never. You want to be a piece of shit? Sinis want to be trophy so bad. I don't know why. No, no she wants to be treasure. treasure. Oh, you want to be treasure? Yeah. Okay. I think I am though. No. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can be both. Yeah. Thank you. I'm both. Okay, this is this. Okay, this is BS. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is BS. This is oh. BS. Cannot why? Be both. Wait, cannot be both. No, wait, okay. okay, listen. Okay, possible la, but cannot. Yeah. Yeah, high chance no, cannot. No, why cannot? You tell me why cannot. Okay, you, so you if I am because their life already determined. Like if they were to change, right? If they were to change, what? Like, That's you your own perspective of them. Yeah, imagine. Okay, why not? Why not you give me examples? It's easier for me to understand. Don't you mind giving examples? No, I give like you them? my own example. Okay. Yeah. So if the girl is famous, got. A lot of money, got high status, um, celebrity, whatever. She cannot be a treasure. Can who said cannot? That's exactly what. But she what the fuck? We we just discussed that. Why you said cannot? You will forget one part. One part you missed out. What's the one part? What's the part? Is she being passed around? No. Then she's a treasure. Yeah. But how will you know she's being passed around unless you get to know her? People know yeah, that. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, we get to know her first. After we get to know her, then we know about her, right? That she's. Fuck, can I pass around? Okay, this one confirm not treasure, this one is trophy. Okay, okay can I, can I can just wait, say wait, something? Wait, one last thing. Uh. I can be that person, right? Okay. I can still lie to you about being passed around. I can say no. But I deep down know. inside, you know what's up. But you don't know. Either so way, will right. I be a treasure? Okay, either still way, talk about either way right? No, okay, can, okay, can, can I just say something? If you're famous, <laughs> right? If you're famous, okay, right? This is what I feel. Who the hell don't know who you did? Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, famous, right? Janice is just being unrealistic. No. Janice. Okay, you know Big what? One. Uh, I can, can I imagine a family listening to this podcast and getting extremely angry. Right now. Okay. <laughs> so let me let me say something. I feel like even if you're quote unquote passed around, okay. but you, you you change and act like a tra- and you are val- you display traits of a woman that's a treasure, mm. you can still be a treasure. Yeah, it's okay. not tied to your okay. past. Okay, okay. But, but to Shani's right, just so Shani said that she can lie, right? Mm. No, I, I said you, la, you No, I said you cannot tell. I can act like I'm a treasure and but I'm attractive and I have all the values, high status, but you might still not know. You think I don't that know? I'm not being passed. But you are famous, well, obviously people okay, know. Okay, what that if you I'm not famous? I right. thought also being famous comes. You say with famous what they still No, no, okay, now okay, if I'm not famous, I'm hot. It's on different different Oh, so to you a trophy has to be famous, lah. Uh, not really. Uh, okay, so if I'm not famous okay. and I'm Attractive, I'm desirable mm. to many guys. Mm, mm, mm. Still a trophy. And you don't know that I'm being passed around. So how? I will know. I'm not stupid. Okay, okay, let, no, let's say Shanice. No, Shani, what Shanice is trying to say. I think what Shanice is trying to say is right. <laughs> she's everything, but accept that. She lied. She she lied or not? You, she do lie. you lie? She I lie. don't tell him lah. Like but but the truth is you um will pass around. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right, right. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, hold on. Yeah, right. no. Yes, I was. But I okay. never tell you. Okay, so. Deep down inside, if you live in reality, right? 
what type of person you are? A trophy who? No, I'm not talking. <laughs> I'm not talking about me. I know. I know. I'm talking about example. you. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you so like to be like. So how will you know I'm a treasure? Okay, let's say I don't know, right? Let's say I don't know, right? Then I think that you are a treasure girl, right? Right. That one is me believing in a lie, rea- lie. But you, you know? don't know. So right. still, you will but, still believe. You think it's belief, reality, right? In, in my belief, right, the truth will always come out. You get what I mean, right, Kevin? Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, see. Okay, okay, I feel like the truth will always no, come no, out, no, Kevin. Come not, on, Kevin. The, the truth will always come no, out. The truth will set you free the if you will acknowledge set me if, free. <laughs> if you acknowledge it, right? But the point is more of like the, the point of him raising the treasure and trophy, just saying who he wants to settle down with. I think that's the broader point. Mm. And to me, like as long as you get a broader point that you want someone that you settle down with, it's fine, ah. I agree. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and it, and she can be a trophy as well. If you okay, to me is this: I want to celebrate my partner. Okay. To me, she is also a trophy. To me, she's valuable. Good point. I would put her. Okay, good point. Okay, the the word is not display. I would be proud of her. I won't. I won't hide her. Obviously, she's social media shy, and that's a different context, lah. If you want to hide a relationship for privacy reasons, that's fine. But I wouldn't be shy in showing her off. Be- mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I by see. definition, yeah, she says a trophy. Exactly. That's why I feel like you you can be even unattractive. But if a guy is in love with you, right, you can still be a trophy, what? Because he's going to show but you off. No, no, no. But in no, this case, no. this case, you differ because his definition is yes. that by society's definition now. So now society doesn't see as a trophy anymore. Yes. No, but you okay. Understand? So this whole situation is about society, not about how you feel. Okay, it? if we, it's, no, both. it's both, it's both. So I'm just saying that. <laughs> okay, why? Okay, why? Right? Okay, why do you think? Right? Why do you think? Ah. Uh, it's very hard for Shanice to understand this. Because no, I understand. You, do you, uh, Shanice, you don't understand. You don't understand, uh, You know, because right, like, right now inside your brain, right, the definition of trophy, right, is not the same as me. That's why. On top of that, right, she can see that you are wrong. But we kind of de- <laughs> we, we kind of debunk that already, what? He, he, what? he already they said like debunk. trophy is someone no, actually, who got status, someone who is good looking, someone yeah. who is desirable to other well, men. We're on this topic for quite a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I okay. Can, so can I, I, I just want to understand why your few Shanice doesn't understand. Oh, see? Thank you, my lawyer. No, because whatever that I say, yeah. she say still can be. She, 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 she can be a treasure <laughs> and also can be a trophy. How can a hoe be a treasure? Cannot. Okay, okay. No, then there's no such thing. Hole. Okay, then in that case... My in that definition of a tra- trophy okay. is a hoe. Okay, 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 see, see. No, he he, he said say now. We can agree. Yeah. The problem with this is that her definition is different from me. Really? Exactly. Talk, talk, talk so to so my, talk so to so my, talk to my. Okay, because your definition is different, it's impossible to debate. Exactly. Yeah. Shanice, you want to be. You understand? You, you no, but okay. You, 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 hear, you hear what he said. I hear His what he definition said. of trophy is someone who sleeps around. And it's Fine. No, I accept the definition. But then okay, for us, we have a different a definition. Whole, uh, what, From just now, I've been seeing that one. But I just don't want. I, huh? but I just never use that word. No, last time in the podcast, you like no, you so didn't. innocent. No, put the no, music no. in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. To be fair, to be fair, to be fair. When I watched that podcast, right, that was not the definition that I thought you were saying. Emotional, they are like right. Yeah. Actually. Uh, no, actually, that's that's snipper, no, that's actually I never explain it in detail. Uh, in detail. No, I never explain in detail. Yeah, I never explain it in, de- in detail. <laughs> okay, you got a video <laughs> right? after this after this podcast, you show them. I show them, sir, this yeah. the video. You still got the video? Of As course. In, this is not our video, it's another video. <laughs> yeah. I think. There's something similar. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Alright. Yeah. So at the end of the day, right? Let's all find the treasure, not the trophy. Mm. Can we both? Yeah, I want See, both. I like but do you think it's hard to find a treasure? Okay. Maybe it can be both your your <laughs> own definition. definition, yeah, your okay, definition can. Right. But and also and also one more thing, I just want to make this point: that trophy right like, can be a treasure if she change. Mm. If she change, then if can she be. change can. Uh. But, but you cannot be both. Trophy, huh? You cannot be both. You can change become treasure. Yeah, actually, Loki, eh, Loki, what the hell? Wait, Loki, Shani's got a point. Yeah. Eh, Loki, Shani's got a point. Based on the yeah. definition, she has to change. Yeah. Because yeah, to agree, him, agree. a trophy is a slut. Correct, correct. So she has I to agree. stop sleeping around to yeah, become yeah, a treasure. Yeah, yeah, correct, but by right, a trophy is just someone who everyone wants. Doesn't yeah. mean she's a slut. Oh, what correct. is by right? By, right, by who? <laughs> by me. Okay. <laughs> ah, I could check out. <laughs> no, you get what I mean, right? I get it, I See, get Kevin it. gets me. There's no disagreement here. Yeah. Only between us. And us. Okay. So, uh, any any last thing you want to say? <laughs> any last Actually, one? so so that means. Uh, How many we spend half an hour on this? Wait, wait. Let me understand for the last time. For the last time, ah. Uh, yeah. So basically, <laughs> basically, a, a trophy. If they were to change, right, and you know, repent or what, right, they would become treasure. What the fuck? Go church. No, re- uh, correct. Can like repent, and yeah, you change, know, change her attitude. Of, uh, yeah. You know the <laughs> the past and all, right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's say now she changed. Now she become treasure. Mm. Mm. So the trophy thing will be totally erased. Gone. Okay. Cannot be both. According to Haikal, uh, by the way. Cannot be both. No, according to like... Because technically, the past is still there, in a way. Uh, so, cannot be both. Uh. Low-key, uh, the past is still there. right? But I can close one eye. Uh. Can close one eye. Uh. I see. Okay, now I understand. Uh. 
Yeah, you, uh, you can close on eye. Who are you, Shell? <laughs> My <laughs> definition <laughs> one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but I want to ask you, who leverage in a relationship, girl or the guy? Who leverage? Yeah. What do you mean? La. In a relationship, lah. Explain lah. What, do you, la, what do you mean by leverage? Who leverage? leverage, leverage la. So big. Like, depends on the power. What is leverage? Depends on the power. <laughs> there, are, there are girls that <laughs> leverage is using a small force <laughs> to create a greater reward. Sorry, what? Leverage is using a smaller force to create a greater output. That's the definition oh, of leverage. Son. I was not expecting that. Okay, you okay. know, Ar- Archimedes said if you have a big enough lever, you can move the world. That's how he defined leverage. So in a relationship, the one has more leverage, the one has more power. That means we do something and then the other person has to shift all the way to fit her needs or fit his needs. You know what mm-hmm. I think? I think it's who is more in love. Yeah, yeah. You know, who is less in love? Who is less have in more love power. more leverage. They yeah. have more power, yeah. yeah because yeah. you know what, like, if I'm a girl and I'm with you, and I know like I'm like so deeply in love with you like yeah. everything you do I will be like more and afraid. guys use that advantage which is also why yes. right, I feel like when yes. people say yes. cheat, <laughs> when, pe- when people say cheating right is cheating is never justified it's mm-hmm. not your fault but you contributed to it oh damn son a lot of times I feel that you contributed because you are too afraid to set boundaries for fear of losing another person mm, mm, mm. and you're too afraid to, to call certain things because you, you maybe are too in love with the person and you don't want to you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, so everything you attract, you attract things in your life, like, I feel. Okay. Can yeah. disagree with that, everyone? Oh, we agree. Yeah. I, I agree. Ashlam, you agree? Oh, you wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> you see you right to me. La, eh? <laughs> <laughs> huh? You weren't. Now, I'm you saying cheating is not justified, but the other the person that has been cheated on yeah. might have contributed to it. Yeah, yeah. I might, la, yeah, yeah. But not all the time. But still, it's the cheater's fault. La. Yeah, la, it of is course. La. Always. It's like when you murder someone, it's still wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there could be reasons why the murderer became a murderer. Mm, the good yeah. point. Say good point. True, 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 true. I see. Uh, and also, um, I saw one of your video. you talk about, um, like in social media, right? Yeah. It will cater more to the girls than to the guys. I will cater? No, no. You the society. You yeah, the society. Oh, society will cater more to kinder to girls than guys. Shanice, yeah. Yeah. The one yeah. that I did for Luke and uh, Carissa, uh, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. No, I was just calling out certain double standards that, you know, people have when it comes to gender. No, I, I am aware that females don't have privileges mm. in a quote-unquote patriarchal society but that video was saying that yeah people are kinder towards girls lah in general actually low key I disagree okay. let's go I feel like okay yes they are kinder to girls compared to guys but it depends right on like the beauty scale of the guy and the girl say that again it depends on the beauty scale okay. of the guy and the girl so if a guy is not good looking I feel like it will be easier for him to be out there and um, in contrary, if the girl is too good looking, she will get more hit. In what context? Would she get Social more media, hit? like posting, whatever. From what I seen and from what I hit, okay, but what did she do wrong to get hit? Nothing. It's Basically, just people don't like when you're too good looking. Yeah, I you get more hit. Loki got make sense. Loki, yeah. Because people are just jealous. Yes, correct. Yeah. Some people will just hit you just because I of your looks. Okay, no, that's yes. that, no, that's fair, right? But I feel like most of the time when I see attractive girls. On social media, they get a lot of support. What? Right? Sile or blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, nonsense. Yeah. I agree. No, not really. Che, not and, <laughs> and, and the best part, and the best part, I, I can pull out, no, I can pull out any influencer now and I'll show you the number of people pull that comment on your comments. Yeah, 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 yeah. Compared to a guy influencer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and, the, and the thing is, when you look at social yeah, media. Let's look at Shani's Instagram then. <laughs> the better looking one is the one that will, get, really. will be more successful, right? You know? Say that Sorry, we, we wasn't listening. Uh. Successful, we were talking yes. about Shani's Instagram. What? <laughs> yeah, you were saying the better looking one is the one that will get will be more successful. What successful? Yeah. Yes, you know? that that's without a doubt. But yeah. like hate that comes with it, you know. It will come with if it. You are the more, the more famous you are, the more hate you will receive. Oh yeah, yeah one for sure. So. But but sense also. It's, it's inevitable. Che, go yeah, atas no, all. Yeah. No la, I think <laughs> my point with that, my point with that is just that I would think people are being a bit too harsh on you. That that's just my point. I was saying that if Carissa does the other way around. Would they be as harsh to her? Exactly. My yeah. point is like Turtle Boy and Adriana, same thing, right? Like Adriana, they broke up. Adriana's with another guy. It's like, oh, well, well, you found a better person. But if Turtle Boy does it, you will probably get crucified. You know, obviously the context is a little bit different. What mm-hmm. I'm saying is that, you know, it, the way we view things is different. Now, obviously the counter argument is that because Carissa's page was mostly females, that's why she got a lot of support there. Okay. So because the following is mostly females, so they support her. Mm-hmm. It's not necessarily another counter argument that. Regardless of gender, people will call out stupidity. Like for example, the La Pat type girl, she still got hit for being for calling her date toxic or whatever. So it's mm-hmm. not that social media mm-hmm. are kinder to people. Mm-hmm. It's just that 
that's that's the, that's the counter argument. But I feel like some uh and also like girls are more vocal on social media. That's why. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like. Kala kiss ya. Okay, some more what? <laughs> why why you laugh? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, yeah, true. Eh? <laughs> girls are more vocal on social media. Be- uh, that guys tend to like not want. More like laid back. Guys uh. don't really comment on like stuff. Eh? Why do you think is the case? Uh? Because Female I feel like guys sometimes what? yeah more emotional okay. and guys sometimes like uh, lazy yeah, lah. Yeah, guys are just you know, you know like and they are not really involved. Gets what? Oh, go ahead, sorry. They are not really involved. You know. Yeah, yeah. Get they it, don't feel it. the need. They are more laid back. A lot, of, a lot of rants I hear is from females. Mm. Always very biased and exaggerated. I Which never is why them. females get more hits, not Or maybe just females. Or maybe just females just got too much free time. Uh. But they also oh, get uh. people validating their imbalanced perspectives. Mm. The audience is equally as unevolved, and so I feel so bad saying this. The audience is equal is not able to see both sides, and they're equally so into the idea that this person is telling a, a story, like a true Fair. story. You okay, I mean? since we're on this point, right? Do guys post things for girls to see? Um, the awkward silence was scary. No, you were asking him, right? Everyone. Okay, but of course, lah. For, for oh, not, not, uh, not every time, lah. But of course, some not every time, lah. What do you mean for girls? Yeah, yeah. that's normal, by the way. Oh, is it? Like normal specifically la. for girls. Oh, so we are the same, lah. Like men and women. Yeah. Wait, wait, I, I mean, okay, I want to understand a little bit more. When you say yeah, for guys, don't understand the topic. You need to explain. No, no, no. I'm saying, say for guys to see. What do you mean by guys to see? For girls to see. Like maybe you on social media, you intentionally post something for. A, a female no 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 not that's right okay. can be anything for a female to see why does it have to be separated I post for everybody no, because I can just post a random maybe I just I don't know like random I take a picture of a plant I want you to see but like okay let's say you post a picture <laughs> of your pet okay, okay. low key you want you girls to think that you are yeah, yeah, that you kind like of thing. pet which is okay for example you go to the gym and you post like some self oh that one is that guy <laughs> Yeah, always, always. Of your arm or whatever. Yeah. And then you, you edit it to make yourself look more buff. You're saying, is that that, is it? Yeah, same. Okay. <laughs> you're doing it for the girls, is it you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> la, then which, I get which it. Is, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, la, okay. La. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do it no, for girls. No, I know la. there's nothing wrong with it. I want to know. So it's no, a, I don't. It's a I, don't. I post yeah. it for both. Uh. Oh, he d- huh? For both? Who is both? My audience. Uh. I don't think guys. 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 You don't have to be defensive on that thing because yeah, yeah, yeah. it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? Defensive, yeah. okay. No, la, but I, I so do post. So, girl guys, same, la. same. Same, same, same. But I would argue that, not I would argue, like sometimes I do post things hoping that they would pain me towards. It's more catered towards girls. La. Yeah, la, that, that's the whole thing. La. Yeah, la, yeah, la, but, but tell them, la. maybe gym stuff. Mm-mm. But it's so not all the time. So, you got post half naked or? Sometimes. Ask him for mm-hmm. advice. La. <laughs> I don't know, I just find it cringe. <laughs> I want to talk about uh, cringe. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about cringy stuff, uh, like you. No, I want to talk about more meaningful stuff, <laughs> like you helping people. You okay, sure. you help a lot of people, yeah. And one of the video that I watched that you um, raise money to help a pens- pencil. Pencil, a eh, pencil. Cancer, <laughs> cancer. Someone that uh, is going through cancer, right? Stage yeah. four or something. Like. Yes, yes. That like you raised thirty thousand dollars, right? There were two fundraisers. Uh, one was 50, one was 30. Damn, son. Yeah, the first one was Uncle Andrew and his wife. So there's colon ca- uh, cancer. Mm-mm. So she had a bag, a stoma bag to collect her feces. Mm. When I saw that, my heart sank. Uh. Yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. very sorry for her because I knew them before I had depression. Uh-uh. I was oh creating yeah. content before, yeah. So I had one year break because of the depression. Then I went back to content. Uh-uh. When I came in, he said, Kevin, how you meet you now? How sound you? Which means I miss you. Uh-uh-uh. Which is, he said that, well, the tai your wound, which means my wife has a problem. Mm. She has cancer. Mm. And the moment she said she has cancer, he broke down. Oh, is it? He broke down in tears. You can still watch the video, it's there. Oh. The video went viral. A lot of influencers shared it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that, that gang, like Maito, that gang, Tommy. Then they shared it, and then that one received a lot of donations and support. Mm-mm-mm. So that was the first one. The second one was my follower that reached out to me. Oh, she oh. said that, Kevin, my husband has stage 4 cancer. My, I have three younger kids. So I have three kids. I'm pregnant. I'm really struggling. No one is working. I just wanted to say your content really gave me the solace. Mm. Your content really helped me go through tough times. She didn't expect help. Maybe subconsciously she did, mm. but not upfront. Mm. I receive a lot of DMs, right? Some of them are directly asking me for money. So a lot of them are, but she didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. in my heart, I wanted to help her. Mm, mm, mm. So I went on to shoot a video. Within one day, we raised the amount. I was so surprised. One day you raised 
Thirty. Thirty k. Yeah. Damn. That's no, good, I think it was, it was because I strategically use religion as well, lah. Because they 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 were Mus- they're Muslims, mm. Chinese and Indian. But the way you said it, like it sounds so wrong. It's, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. You use religion, eh? <laughs> but it's okay. actually okay, lah. It's okay. But it's just the way you sound it. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, but I didn't mean it that way. Yeah, what I meant was that um, for a good cause, I just. Because they had a they had a sign right in Allah we trust so I just put I I videoed that underneath that sign, mm. so then people would know that they are they're Muslims right and I think with the commu- the Muslim community mm. generally very supportive, mm, yeah. mm-hmm. so they share a lot on Instagram and everything. That's mm. why it got a lot of donations, very fast. In one day, thirty k yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. mad. That's mad. But I'm I'm very very I'm very amazed also honestly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When was the last time you did something good like help people like when? Help people. Yeah. I help people. I help you. I help you guys every day, sir Aslam. No, no, no. I'm talking about strangers. Strangers. Mm. Back in 2014, maybe 2005. Say no lah. Then stuff, sir. Actually, actually, I know what's called. Actually, no, no, no. Actually, if you have anything that you got something that you want to help people, we want to get involved also, sir. We don't mind getting involved. That'd be nice. Like one day we can do yeah. a collab on that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I want to say this. Like I don't how to say. Uh, I don't think kindness should be prescribed. Some people misconstrue and feel like I'm prescribing or preaching kindness. Mm. I've never once said in my videos that you should be kind. Mm, mm, mm. I've never, never prescribed it. It's not religion. I don't prescribe it. It's just Isn't I want to show. Sorry, upbringing also. Upbringing. Like some people have the upbringing of like being for sure, kind, for sure. and some don't. Uh, yeah, but I would argue that generally society can benefit from being kind, right? Mm. So like I, I hope to inspire kindness. I say that hey, this is the joy that I feel from being from doing kindness. Like if you want to try, you can try. If not, so be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't I hurt agree. to be kind. Huh? It doesn't yeah. hurt to be kind. Yeah, I mean, I got into some controversies as well, right? The Brad Go stuff. And also... Brad Go? You didn't know? Uh? She's unaware. Are you aware? You got problem with I Brad think Go? I, got, I got heard of it, but I'm Damn not aware sir. what yeah. exactly that the happened. Only, that was the only controversy that I was in. After, in fact, I thought you would know about it. You don't talk about it as you can. That oh, was the she, only thing that people use against me now. As well as another video that I called the cancer culture one, then the girls weren't happy. They created a video slandering me. Oh damn! <laughs> I mean, girls. Funny. Then funny again. But that was <laughs> that, like that one's not a big thing because no, no one really pay attention to that. But the Brad Go one's a big thing. Yeah, because I created a video mocking Brad Go. I rented a Maserati. That's okay. What? What's huh? wrong with that? No, no. I explained it. So basically, I created a lot of satire. Yeah. Okay, but in one of the scenes, I put my ear and I said. We will conquer the real world. So oh, you kind of like <laughs> mocking him, ah. Uh. Okay, okay, I see, I see. Oh, you laugh, see. That's not nice. Okay, now I understand <laughs> why you so, got. So yeah, I did that. Then they said like, "Eh, no, you're kind," and then you mock him with your appearance. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I agree. Ah, shit. Then I have to apologize, ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, then yeah. people use that, and then they blow it up, and they call me a hypocrite. Yeah, blah blah blah. Uh, 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 uh. Whatever. No, I, I, see, I thing, did see though. It hurts. I, I can show you after this, uh, but it's it private. Uh, okay. It is scary that. A lot of people are waiting on yeah, the they downfall. Are, they are, yeah. Yeah, they so are waiting I didn't on the know. downfall. I didn't know there's so many people hiding in the bushes, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot, there. Yeah. But I'm waiting for one thing, uh, boom, they attack. Yeah. Awesome. We all be at the they, they're on standby mode. <laughs> standby <laughs> mode. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm yeah. trying my best. Yeah. Okay, okay, um, sorry. So that was sad for me, la, but then I learned a lot of lessons from that. Mm-hmm. But actually, yeah, uh, there were nothing. Che, it's only nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that. It's just. You have to lie on this kind of you no know, unnecessary drama, this kind of thing. A lot of people defended me, la, so. Which is good, lah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they don't like Brad Go, la, To be fair. There's nothing to do with Brad Go. The funny thing is Brad Go. Reach, have, uh. The funny thing is Brad Go reached out to me as well. Oh damn, sir. Yeah, he want to do a collab with me. We're supposed oh. to do a collab. I told him to donate ten k to <laughs> children's charity. In the end, in the end, he got money or not? Huh? Scully don't have all the money. Uh. I, I don't Action know whether he's lying, la, But my my <laughs> bet my bet is that he's not, lah. He seems like a very Systemized smart fella. Mm. La. Mm, mm, mm. We invited him, but he don't want to come. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you go and text him later. No, no, he, he cut you off already. He said he's getting off social media. Oh, he cut you off. He didn't cut me off. He said that we're no longer doing the collab because I, I, no, he, I he don't want to do He it. goes uh, you. Uh, uh, uh. He's smart. He just wanted to promote his 1% club. Now that his objective yeah, is served, he's gone. Mm, mm, he hasn't posted a video in two months. Mm, mm. Oh, well. Okay See okay you la. soon, Brad Go. Okay, la. Slim, go any, what are your opinions on Brad Go, Shanice? Oh. I like him. I like him. <laughs> I think I, I find him entertaining on a entertainment perspective. Okay, besides that? I don't really watch for like proper like crypto investment stuff. I just he doesn't do find the way he talk very funny. Okay, that, that's the only reason. That's the only reason. Well, you try to DM him, what? <laughs> yeah, but he he don't want to come, so I guess okay. he's not into it. Yeah, you, do you <laughs> see the interview with Dave Imran? Yes. Yeah, I did. That was very good. Yeah, it was good. So he so became very humble. Yeah, yeah, he, he, was always, he was always like that. He's just adopting a persona. Mm. I think that was the video that told me that this guy is actually a genius, you know. 
he's I mean I don't agree with his approach, but he, he executed it well as a team. Good. He got attention that he needed. Then he fuck off after that. No, no, I agree, I agree. Mm-hmm. He's very smart for that. Yeah. Cause I would have never thought it was a persona. Yeah. Until that uh I run video. As a man, right? This is just a random question. As okay, a man, right? Coming. Do you think that we have to wear our watch on the right hand or left hand? Oh, I mean, traditionally it's left, but my right hand is a bit bigger. So I, I always wear on my right. Eh? No, yeah, girls so supposed to be right. Huh? Ah, supposed yeah. to be. Is supposed to be. Supposed to be, supposed to be left, what? According to the society, uh, men supposed to be left. I don't anyhow create your own society, <laughs> la, <but yeah. laughs> No, I know. I know that men's on the left. I don't know yeah, about girls. Right. Yeah. Oh, I think I it's just a. Uh, Maybe you guys no, have got it that it's level, it's yeah. No, it's practical because you need to write if you're right, right hand. Oh, because I, I feel like I use this hand more, so I put it on my... Oh, huh? is it? Yeah. To show off, uh, like, show yeah, like off. Uh. Oh, okay, I see. What watch are you wearing, Shanice? Michael Kors. Wow. <laughs> no, I got this 10 years ago, eh. What is it? Until now, I never Microsoft, changed. Microsoft, uh. ah. Wow, Microsoft, ah. Uh. Good, sir. <laughs> Bill Gates design. <laughs> What's that, Seiko? Casio. Okay. Chip, yeah, yeah, this gonna, one. We're going to talk about watch. What's your watch? Ah, I don't know where watch. I've seen two watches for a while. Watch, no watch. I got out of it. Okay, like, I think that's about it. Uh. Like, we talk a lot, I have yeah, fun, yeah. Yeah. and Thanks, learn a lot guys. also, like, from your point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trophy treasure, okay? So, I'm the tre- <laughs> Yeah. Really, uh, thank you for being here, sir. No, thank, thank you for having yeah, me. Yeah. I had fun. Yeah, before, lastly, you got any message to the people before who Before, lastly, say. Before, wa- lastly, you <laughs> pick one. Please, please pick one. Before or lastly, <laughs> please. Do me a fucking favor, eh. Please. Before, lastly, or lastly. before or lastly? Lastly. Lastly. Lucky like Shanice call you out now. I also forget about that. <laughs> before or lastly, sir? That's why Shanice call me out. Huh? So it's very, you know, alert I on this. No? That's why. Which is scary. Good. Uh. I'm very good. Good. Okay, <laughs> go on English. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before lastly, okay. you got any message you want to uh. say? <laughs> Never mind, I want to say that again. Lastly, <laughs> lastly. Any advice? Hmm. Be kind. Just remember that... N- no matter how bad it gets, there's always hope. Oh. Mm. Yeah, just mm. cling on to it with whatever you have. Mm. Things can get better. La. Yeah, your pain can become your purpose. Ooh, your struggle can. can become your strength. And your mess can become your message. Why well, you're like a walking poet. <laughs> I, be, I do believe that. Like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, just take it in your stride. La. I know it's difficult, but just hang on. Eventually, things will... To quote Andrew, I mean, we didn't talk about Andrew, it would be an interesting discussion, maybe next time. Mm-hmm. But he has a saying that there's no joy without pain, mm. there's no dark without light. Yeah. Um, there's no light without dark, no joy without pain, mm. and there's no rainbow without a little rain. Mm-hmm. Damn, son. True, yeah. true, true. I agree. There you have Maybe it, guys. Views. Thank you very much, Thanks. Kevin, once again, for joining us. And yeah, guys, thank you very much, thank you very much <laughs> for watching. And if you guys want to follow <laughs> us on Instagram <laughs> or subscribe to YouTube channel, it's called Wello. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.